Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're here to celebrate the, uh, what did you call it? The pettiest tradition in England history? The Splatfest? Oh, yes. Inkopolis' Ink most petty tradition. <laughs> Where we're going to figure out whether, objectively, by law, orange juice is better with or without pulp. Because that's that's how we do. All you octolings better get with the program. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, because I have picked the righteous and pure side of not having any grit in my juice. Oh, you're going to make this a purity thing. Well, I mean, look at it. I can put it through a strainer and it doesn't leave anything behind. You already did that. You already <laughs> committed that offense. <laughs> what oranges ever do to you? Besides or... give you vitamin C. Yeah, well, you know. But more importantly, uh, Captain Emoji and I are on opposite teams, so we're going to be swapping off accounts here, so... I was going to say, a, a rare difference of opinion on one of these. Like, yeah, most of the time we've yeah. been pretty... Or at least, when we choose opposite sides, we're not... That's true, yeah. <laughs> Have we chosen opposite sides on another one? Yeah, I think, like, ice cream and cake or something. I'd have to actually look at the history. But, uh... We, we haven't exactly felt strongly about it. That's now. true. That's true. This is the this is the strongest opinion I've had on a a Splatfest, oddly enough. I think maybe it's just growing up in citrus country, I have strong opinions. Probably. Meanwhile, I grew up in Montana, so oranges are already unnatural. <laughs> They're already imported. You're supposed to be drinking like zucchini juice or something. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> Because, I mean, you don't really have apples here, either. Like, you gotta go, like, further west for, for it to really be apple country. Yeah, we're, we're berry country. And, yeah, no one makes a, a berry juice. That's because berry juice is terrible. <laughs> I'm Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like berries. I mean, you want to talk about grit in your juice. <laughs> so, so what you're telling me is is that uh, the uh, the northwest needs to be smoothie country. I mean, Orange Julius is a thing. Yeah, but I just mean like in general though, like oh, yeah. berries and stuff like that go really good in a like a smoothie. That's true. That just seems to be a that seems to be a good compromise to the. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. To the debate, I suppose is you know. Blend it all up, <laughs> then it's all smooth. <laughs> and you still get the you still get the pulp with all the extra you know nutrient bits. I hate crossing up like that. I mean, yeah, we both explode, but all the way over here. Fantastically lazy in general. <laughs> and we don't super jump as much as some. We don't super jump nearly as much as we should. Pro player, I am not. Uh, I was talking about this. It seems like every time I go to super jump, like I'll be like, oh, I should super jump. Um, I'll look, and the rest of my team is either dead or dying in such a fashion as where I I feel like if I super jump right now, I'm just going to land, like, on a bomb. <laughs> like, there's already going <laughs> to be a suction bomb where I land. Yeah. I threw an auto bomb on somebody's landing point once. That was fun. Does it sit there and wait patiently? It did, because there were no other uh, inklings around. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just curious if it knew that an inkling was going to land there, because you know. But I was curious if the auto bomb had that kind of uh, no, it does awareness. Not. <laughs> uh, yeah, heck of a thing if it did, though. I was going to say the auto bomb is already pretty hated by certain folks. I think it would be bad if it was better at its job than it already is. It is troll's first grenade. I desperately need a uh, auto bomb launcher special. Weapon. Oh. I mean, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just need to grab it. Well, I'll get up to the level it is and grab it, because as I've established, I only play multiplayer during Splatfests. <laughs> yeah, that does make leveling a little harder. <laughs> um, 
Plus, I mean, we we were both guilty of this, but we spend all of our in-game money on uh, hats. Close. Hats, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I've got like three pages of shirts I never wear because I only play during Splatfests. <laughs> that is that is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's... Hmm. Pretty solid back and hey, forth, right. but you pulled it out. Good guys win. Now we'll see if the good guys win for Captain Emoji. I was gonna say, it always says good guys. Like yeah. <laughs> So I just noticed that the orange juice icon where it says, you know, no pulp defender. Mm -hmm. Uh it's a glass of orange juice and it has leaves in it. Yeah. I'm assuming a garnish, but <laughs> All right. Let's go, team. Only one of which I can reliably read. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'll get to talk about Shifty Station when I'm playing. Yeah, I, I do think it's probably my favorite stage just because... It's always so different. <laughs> That's true. It's a race uh, stage. You start off with spawns next to each other and you have to get to a central bit. Or hang out near the entrances and go fight club. That's right. What I do. But like, I feel like Shifty Station being part of the Splatfest helps. Oh yeah. For the folks that maybe don't play as often. Uh, because you can't memorize Shifty Station. It's going to be different every time. Yeah. So, it helps for the folks that haven't, like, memorized the multiplayer maps as much, or that, you know, play a bit more infrequently. Because, I mean, we, we play, but you don't do uh, near as much of the multiplayer. Um, and, I mean, even I'm still a casual, like, by comparison. <laughs> uh, we should get into rank sometime. I mean, you know, I do still want to try and figure out how that portion of the game works i feel like i'm missing out yeah, yeah simply because like it's an entire other set of play modes that i don't engage that's with that's true it'd be like if you never did salmon run like never ever <laughs> like that's a whole section of game that you're sort of just leaving on the table like i'm not i'm not expecting to become like a professional at this by any means a professional <laughs> professional yeah but at the same time i wouldn't mind Oh, brilliant. Ooh. <laughs> they might be having some connectivity issues, I think. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... That's fine. These things happen. <clears throat> yeah. Statistically, they'll happen just as much to the other side. Yep. <laughs> it's all the same in the end. But, uh... But, yeah, no, I wouldn't mind getting better. You know, ranking up, figuring out how... How the stage of play changes how based on the objectives, you know? Yeah. Because I mean, I like Turf War. I do. It's it's a, oh, a land hello. control thing. It's Ow. it's definitely my jam, uh, and I would like to see how that changes when it's. Uh, Died you, Joes. When it's you know, uh, Rainmaker or Clam Blitz. I have no idea how Clam Blitz works, other than that there's a football. You put the football <laughs> in the goal after you throw other smaller footballs at the goal to break the shield on it. Right. Yeah. I just. There's, there's a lot going on there, <laughs> and I wouldn't mind getting to a point where it makes sense. Okay. Dooley squelchers. <laughs> mm. You can make up a lot of time in ten seconds. It is true. Don't think we did, though. Uh, no. <laughs> no, they they did a pretty big push there towards the end. But you fought valiantly. Not as bad as I thought. It's true. Alrighty. Well. Solid play both matches, though. Mm hmm. And keeping our roughly 50% uh, win rating on these yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, I can usually get to 51, but that's all you need to win a Splatfest, so... It's true! Uh, we'll see how Captain Emoji does in his last match here, and then we'll call it a night. Yeah!